Lovely. Just think about this. Suppose we are told modulus of y is greater than 3. We say modulus of y is equal to 3. Then y should be 3 or minus 3. If modulus of y is greater than 3, that means either that means the magnitude of y is greater than 3, either y should be greater than 3 or y should be less than minus 3. That's it, we are through. We look at this and say modulus of x minus 3 minus 4 is either greater than 3 or modulus of x minus 3 minus 4 is less than minus 3. Nice. So, modulus of x minus 3 is greater than 7 or modulus of x minus 3 is less than minus 3 plus 4. Modulus of x minus 3 is less than 1. Modulus of x minus 3 is greater than 7. What does that mean? Either same funda x minus 3 greater than 7 or x minus 3 less than minus 7 or x less than minus 7 plus 3, x less than minus 4 or x greater than 10, 7 plus 3. x greater than 10 works, x less than minus 4 works. After that we come to this side, modulus of x minus 3 is less than 1, magnitude of x minus 3 is less than 1, magnitude of suppose mod k is less than 1, magnitude of k is less than 1, either k between 0 and 1 or between minus 1 and 0. And so this expression sits between minus 1 and plus 1 or I can say minus 1 less than x minus 3 less than 1 or minus 1 plus 3 less than x less than 1 plus 3 or 2 less than x less than 4. x is between 2 and 4 or x is less than minus 4 or x is greater than 10 between 2 and 4 or greater than 10 or less than minus 4. So you have to simplify this as minus infinity to minus 4 union 2 to 4 union 10 to infinity. And so beautiful ideas sitting underneath that very fundamentally. Suppose you are solving for mod y greater than k you are solving for y greater than k or y less than minus k. Suppose you are solving for mod z less than p, you are solving for minus p less than z less than p. This is super important for any question with modulus inequality. We break modulus inequality into two parts. If you have mod y greater than k, that means y should be greater than k or y should be less than minus k, one of these two. If you have mod z less than p, z should be between minus p and plus p. Stick it in between minus p and plus p. Here remember this is k and p are numbers, not variables themselves. Mod y greater than phi, y is greater than phi or less than minus phi. Mod z less than 3, z should be between minus 3 and plus 3. This funda, if you note this down, you can be very careful when plugging it in through. All modulus inequality questions just flow from these two, nothing more than that. Thank <laughs> you.